Okay, part two. So we've created an empty movie clip with a new name of MC Loader. We've moved its X and Y position on the screen, and we've attached a movie clip from the library named Preloader with the linkage set to Preloader in the library. This won't work if you don't set the linkage in, in the movie clip in the library, giving it a new name and a depth level. Okay, now it's time to move on uh, in our code. So I'm going to skip two lines down, and I'm going to say MC Loader and give it an on enter frame handler. Okay, it's an on enter frame handler function that is an interesting um, built in uh, handler function uh, built into ActionScript. And what the on enter frame um, handler will do is it will repeat whatever's in this function at the rate of the frame rate of the movie. So this movie is set to let's see where our properties is. Uh, properties are that is uh, I don't even know frame rate is set to 20 frames per second. So this code will execute 20 times per second. Whatever's inside of here will execute 20 times per second. So uh, and then here's this is where the bulk of the preloader code is going to go is into this MC loader on enter frame function which will repeat itself. 20 times per second. All right, and here it is. Uh, total bytes. Total bytes. This is the total movie size, right? Total bytes or total movie size equals, and it's just a variable I've made up on the fly, math dot ceiling. So we're going to round up here, and we're going to say, and this is a tricky part. I'm going to say this movie clip, MC Loader, which is on the stage, and then I'm going to access its parent movie clip. So this is effectively going to give me the same result as declaring underscore root, but instead, um, a lot of games, uh, they don't want you to access the root timeline as mu at, at all in the code, so this time I would say this, which refers to MC Loader, that's who's calling this on interframe function, is MC Loader, and then its parent, which would eventually be the root timeline. So this dot underscore parent, and then here is the code. Get bytes total. Okay, get bytes total. Then an open and close parentheses, and that's that's the code. Now what I'm going to do is lower my um, font size here so that you can see that whole line. Okay, so total bytes, round up, that has to have a parentheses here, right there and there, right? Uh, this dot parents get bytes total. Now this is a built-in um, function, uh, get bytes total, built into ActionScript, which will return the total bytes of our movie. So this will just give me the total bytes of our movie, right? And I say round up, this dot parent get bytes total. Right, and that'll give me the total bytes of the movie. Get bytes total. If you want to know more about it, you just go to view help. Opens up the help screen. Tells you all about this little function. Okay, maybe not. Um, used to do that, but this is CS4, so it's going to a website. I'm not going to mess with it. Um, like I said, I'm kind of new to CS4. I don't really know what I'm doing. All right, and then on the next line, I'm going to say loaded bytes. Right? So the first one was how many bytes total in the movie. This one is how many bytes of our movie have loaded thus far. And I'm going to say this dot underscore parent dot get bytes loaded. And notice as I type it, I've got the um, hint here, which wants to finish it off for me anyway, which is nice. So loaded bytes versus total bytes. I'm going to close this out here. All right, so I have open curly brace and a closed curly brace. So I have the total bytes and the loaded bytes, right? And now I just need to basically track those. And um, I'm going to do it in a very simple way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new variable. So far I've made two, one total bytes and one's named loaded bytes. And this one's going to be called percentage. So I'll say percentage equals loaded uh, loaded 
bytes divided by total bytes, right, times 100. So, however many bytes have loaded divided by the total bytes in the movie will give me a percentage, and then I multiply it times 100. It'll give me, I mean, this will give me a decimal, right? Loaded bytes divided by total bytes will give me a, uh, a fraction or a decimal number, then I multiply it times 100 to get my percentage of how much has loaded, right? And once I've done that, I will say this movie clip, MC Loader, inside of it is my preloader movie, preloader, right? So this dot preloader dot underscore x scale equals percentage. So as the movie loads, as this is repeated over and over again, 20 times percentage, percentage is going to rise from 0 to 100. And correspondingly, I want my preloader rectangle, the light green one, this dot preloader. So it's saying, look in MC loader, right? You will find preloader. This dot, this is dot syntax, right? This dot preloader. It's X scale, which uh, will be, it's, it's essentially its um, width will be equal to percentage, which will go from 0 to 100. And that will make the percentage bar grow from nothing to across um, the uh, width. All right? And um, so let's, let's try this out. So hit Control-Enter. And you can see I have here the, the movie. Now, if I want to try this out, what I can do is I can go to View Bandwidth Profiler which shows me um, some settings here about my little flash movie in this little settings window at the top part and it shows me frame by frame where the bytes are loading and then I can do a couple of things I can say simulate download I can put download settings and I'll set my download settings to DSL speed then I can go view simulate download and it simulates the download and shows you and there it is there's the percentage bar growing it's checking it 20 times per second and as the movie loads, loaded bytes gets bigger and bigger and bigger versus total bytes, and this goes all the way across. At the end, it goes all the way across, but we're still stuck on frame one. Notice this little playhead here is here on frame one. See, I'm still here on frame one. It tells me my bandwidth settings, all this kind of cool stuff. It's pretty cool. So now, if we've uh, loaded, we need to go to the actual movie. So at the end, we put an if statement. If open and close parentheses, open curly brace, close the curly brace, and we say if percentage is greater than or equal to 100, right? And this is it. what we're going to do is we're going to go this dot underscore parent, which means same thing as saying underscore root, right? Same thing as saying underscore root dot go to and stop 10, which is where our movie plays. Now, check it out. We see that, yep, we have jumped to the game. If we do a view simulate download, we'll see the progress bar loading. When it finishes loading, we should jump to the game. And we'll see here. Great, we jump to the game, and we can move our cowboy and all that, but there's a problem. Now you all can see what the problem is. The problem is, is the progress bar is still there. So we need to get rid of that progress bar. So right after we go to 10, I'm going to remove movie clip and this has to be a capital M and a capital C this and this refers to whoever called this on enter frame function which happens to be MC loader which is holding our preloader bar it's our empty movie clip which is no longer empty and we're just going to remove it okay and so now you can see there's the game and the bar is gone but not only that I want to double check to make sure that this onEnterFrame function, which is executing 20 times per second, 
We no longer need it once we go to our movie. I want to make sure it's gone. So what I'm going to do is say delete, and I do this right before we go to uh, 10. Delete, um, delete this dot on enter frame. Like that. And now, sure enough, we can play our game. The preloader's gone. If we wanted to see how our movie would load, download settings, T1 speed, view, simulate download. There's our loading bar, and boom, and we're in our game. All right, so this is a very simple um, preloader um, using an on enter frame handler to do the uh, preloader. Now, with this X scale, unless if you don't want to use X scale, you could use a Y scale. You can also put the percentage amount into a dynamic text box, so you could see the the number of percentage loading, right? So uh, I could say, you know, I could make a little text box here, dynamic text box, and throw that percentage number into the text box if I want to see the actual percentage amount as a number. Right, I just happen to use the bar on this one. Maybe I'll show you that in another movie. Thing under.